Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss a new topic called structure padding and structure packing. This concept is very important for your exam and you have to understood this concept very well so that you can get more knowledge on structure tricky question. In the previous lecture we have covered array of structure, we have also covered structure and function. In structure and function we have uh, we had seen that how to pass entire structure into a function, how pass individual structure member as a function argument, also how to pass an address of a structure. Here we only means mainly concentrate on on the definition of structure padding and we will get answer like that how memory is allocated to structure member, how many bytes are required when I declare a structure and that the uh, that the basic of structure padding come into our existence. So, let us consider an a simple example so that you can got the clear idea about structure padding. Let us for example, for example, we have an structure named struct ABC. So, it consists of three member, one of the member is called carry, another character member is called b and the third member is int c and name of the structure variable is var, var. So, in this example we have a structure whose name is abc and this structure consists of three variable, uh, three member one is a, another is b and that is c. So, three member two member are character member and the third member is integer member. Now, the question is what is the size of structure? So, that means if I write a program to get the size of this structure. So, let me write this one first integer main struct struct abc we know structure is a user defined array type we already discussed. So, it takes two argument uh, two what to define a data type. So, that is the data type and I want to declare the variable var and if I want to access access this size we can get by using printf statement size is always integer. So, we can write percentile d and we can give the size of function within that we can write stack abc or we can write var also we had already discussed how to get the size of a structure. So, and if I run this program what will be the output? The output is output is 8 that means size of the structure is 8 byte but if i think why the size is 8 byte so in my computer i considering the size of character is 1 byte so that is 1 byte that is 1 byte and that is 4 byte assuming that I am using 32 bit compute architecture. So, that is 4 byte. So, size of integer is 4 byte, character is 1 byte and character is 1 byte. So, total how many byte? 6 byte, but when I, I am just run this program I, I got 8 byte. If I want to get the size of this structure I am getting 8 byte. Why I am getting this? 8 byte. 
So, let me know. So, we can say that how memory is allocated to the structure that I am getting 8 byte. That's uh, that is why the picture of structure padding come into our existence. First, structure padding means <coughs> when a object of some structure type is declared, then some contiguous block of memory will be allocated to the structure member. Right? So, when an object you already know that this is my structure object or you can say structure variable, some contiguous block of memory will be allocated, right. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 for example. So, contiguous block of memory will be, will be allocated. So, variable A, member A will be allocated to this location then char b will be allocated to this location, then char c will be allocated this 4 byte of location, right. So, that is c. When I am repeating this statement again, when an object of some structure type is declared, then some contiguous memory location is allocated to the structure member. So, here is the contiguous memory location. So, first A will get this location 1 byte, then B will be get 1 byte, then C will get the remaining 4 byte. So, how many byte? Actually 6 byte will be the answer, but it is wrong. Why wrong? Because we know that before need to understand about the why it is I am getting the wrong answer, we have to know the concept is that is called what that is called what. What does mean processor does not reach a single byte at a time from memory, it reach one word at a time, one word at a time. So, processor does not reach one byte of memory location at a time, it read one word at a time and one word consists of 4 byte. If I use 32 bit computer, if I use 32 bit computer architecture, then or you can say if we have a 32 bit processor, then it means it can access 4 byte at a time which means what size is 4 byte and if I use or if I have a 64 bit processor then it means that it can access 8 byte at a time which means what size is 8 byte right. So, if it is 32 bit processor then it will read 4 byte at a time and if it is 60 bit process 62 bit uh, a 64 bit processor then it will read 8 byte at a time. I am assuming that I am just using 32 bit processor. So, what will happen in 32 bit processor means at a time we can access 4 byte. Now, why what is the problem here? I am expecting I know that manually if I calculate the size should be 6 byte, but if I run this program I am getting 8 byte right I am getting, getting 8 byte. So, why why I am getting 8 byte? Why? Uh, so, why I am getting 8 byte? Actually it is correct that when an object of some structure is declare then contiguous memory is allocated. So, if I use 32 bit computer, so 4 byte will be accessed at a time, then again 4 byte will be accessed at a time. So, that is one CPU cycle, one CPU cycle we can access 4 byte at a time, right. 
but in this example I have declared three variable three member so one of the member is character that is a second member is B and third member consists of two cycle this place and also this place so I am just there is a no problem with care A and care B right but if I want to access the integer C how many cycle are required two cycle are required from because uh, if I read one one word we can read A B and two byte of correct uh, integer C and remaining two byte we have to use another cycle but if I want individually want to access the integer C two cycles is required this two byte from this cycle and this two byte from this cycle so unnecessary we have to use or we have to require two cycle of CPU time so <coughs> the concept of padding come into the picture that we can save we can save the number of cycle we can save the number of cycle by using the concept of padding I am repeating this word I am sorry I am repeating this sentence we can use padding to save the number of cycle by using concept of padding ok. So, what does it mean actually we need to understand it very carefully that uh, this is very important for us to understand. So, it means that if I use the padding we can reduce, reduce if I use the padding we can reduce number of CPU cycle. So, what is the allocation would be? So, let me explain suppose this is my first character that is a and this is my second character b so 1 by 2 white so remaining 2 white third fourth will be empty so that will be empty and next contiguous 4 white will be allocated to the member c so what will happen so if i want to access the member c then we need only one CPU cycle, one CPU cycle. Right? Only one CPU cycle. And if I do not use the padding concept, then how many by three uh, how many CPU cycle is required? How many CPU cycle is required? Two for first two byte from this this cycle and for second two white from this cycle so two cycle is equal so but if i use the padding then only one white uh, one cpu cycle is equal but at a time we are just wasting our memory because size of the memory will be increased but we can reduce the cpu cycle that is the concept of padding right so if i use this one so how many byte are required so this is one byte this is one byte and care b will also take one byte so two byte plus two byte is empty right two byte is empty then that is the empty and next four byte for integer so how many byte 4 to 6 if I add up all those things I will get 1 2 2 plus 2 4 plus 4 equal to 8 byte that is why I am getting 8 byte in my computer right. So let me conclude this topic again. So padding means we can reduce the CPU cycle but we can increase the size of memory. So, padding is used to reduce the CPU cycle, but it can cannot reduce the size of computer memory. So, when I declare a structure, 
then contiguous memory block uh, contiguous block of memory will be allocated for individual member right and if i use in that sense if i use the um, without padding then cpu cycle is required much more compared to the previous one right but if i use padding then cpu cycle will be reduced here in the previous example so how many cpu cycle is unnecessary required two two cpu cycle is required to access the integer c but in this example if i use the padding then two cpu cycle instead of two cpu cycle only one cpu cycle is required so here we are just reducing the cpu cycle but we can increasing the size of the memory right so that's why i am getting the output 8 now the next question is so what happen if i change change the order of member so let me write uh, the same example in different ways that so that we can change the order of this uh, member so i am writing stack i am taking the same example a b c and let me write in another way so i am writing care a is my first number and care b is my second number sorry instead of care b let me put integer here so integer b or you can write integer c integer c is my second member and care c or you can write care b is my third member right so here first is character 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so character a will be occupied here right then integer c is my second member we know that contiguous member will be allocated so character c uh, integer c 1 2 allocated here right try to allocate it here but here if i allocated the c here then one byte i know the size of the c is four byte so three byte will be allocated here and one another byte will be allocated in the next what right so we already know that the if i use the cpu padding a uh, structure padding that we we are looking for the contiguous memory location so that we can get one by one cpu cycle we can read the integer variable right integer variable so we cannot put this or uh, the c will be not allocated this place so this place will be empty this place will be or uh, this room will be empty in our memory and c will be allocated here c will be allocated here to get the 4 byte c will be allocated here right next the next character is so first one byte is required to allocate this character a and then remaining portion is empty and after that integer c will be allocated next contiguous memory location the next member is b will be allocated next subsequent four byte area okay so c will be b will be here though here only one byte is required to store but whenever the C, um, the processor will read the character uh, character b it will read the whole four byte we know that in 32 bit processor uh, processor it read processor read one word at a time that means that four byte will be accessed at a time though it is one byte is required to store but when it will read it will give uh, read the whole four byte that's why whole four byte is required to read the variable character variable so what is how many byte are required to access this a c and b so it will take one byte one word that is also one word one word and that is also one word so how many byte <coughs> that is four byte that is four byte that is four byte so three into four that is equal to twelve byte 
So, what will be the size if I change the order of member I will get the output output is 12 byte right. So, that is all about the padding. So, structure padding means we can reduce the CPU cycle, but we can increase but uh, uh, the size of the memory will be increased. That is why I will get the different value. Uh, in the next lecture, I will explain with an coding example of structure, so that you can get the clear idea about the structure, how we can use the structure. And in this coding session, I will also discuss uh, about structure padding, which is very important concept. And I will also discuss about the difference between the structure padding and structure packing in a coding example, I will show that.